Hi, I'm Richard. I'm from Chrome Frets. Thanks for joining me today. I've been developing a product for guitars and stringed instruments for some time now, and I've had guitarists that have tested it and given me some great feedback. We've produced this product commercially. It's called Chrome Frets and Silky Strings. When we're playing the guitar, our hands are constantly in contact with the strings, the bare metal, and we're depositing gunk and grime. I mean, it's, it's acid from sweat, which is salt water, onto bare metal, it's not good. And after a short period of time, the strings start to lose the tone, they start to dull, and the instrument doesn't feel and play as well as it could do. This product is designed to reverse that. It's designed to clean your strings on the top and underneath. It will polish the frets, and it will do all of this with the strings in situ. It'll do it quickly and safely. This is my main stage guitar. I've been using it for some time now. Uh, it's due for a good clean. I'm going to demonstrate the product and how it works on this guitar. Two parts to this. First, we've got this pad, and we've got this bottle of Teflo wax, which, as you can see, is see-through. And the idea is you can actually see the contents of the Teflo wax bottle that you're getting. And you can see here the constituent parts of the fluid. With this leather pad, we've got a dry surface coating on top of the leather. It's actually contained within the leather itself. And the Teflo wax is a product that contains a very mild solvent. It contains liquid PTFE, which we might have heard of as Teflon. And it also has a wax, liquid wax in there as well. And when we combine the two together, we're going to start and remove the haze and the dirt and the gunk from this guitar. But at the same time, we're going to put a very micro thin coating of, of PTFE on these strings and frets. And that means that when we clean the guitar later on, subsequent gigs, etc., when we've been playing, it'll be a lot easier to get the dirt off. Also, we can rehydrate the fretboard, and if we want to, we can lubricate the nut here, and we can lubricate the saddles at the bottom end. Once the guitar's polished and finished, it's an option, but you can then lubricate the strings using the Teflo wax on its own, if you like, you know, a, a lubricated guitar string feel. Okay, well, let's start and clean this guitar then. We take the pad, we take the bottle of Teflo wax. This is the one that actually comes in the pack. It's got an aluminium bottle, so it's really strong goes in your guitar case, it's not going to leak or split. We take the top off, and we'll explain what this bit does later on. We take the bottle, we shake the contents to activate everything, and then we're going to spray the pad probably four or five times. Okay, just spray the pad. And then we're going to put this onto the strings, and just start with um, light strokes going up and down, starting at this end here, because again, strings are prone to breaking at this end when your hand's resting on the bridge of the guitar. Already you can see it's starting to take some of the gunk and grime off. Okay, we continue further up and down the fretboard. Just light, fast strokes, that's all that's needed. And again, if we have a look, we can see it's starting to polish and really take some grime off. It's very gentle. It's a mild haze remover. OK, we're going to turn the pad over now. We've got the microfiber side, which is absorbent. It's cotton. And this is going to start the first stage of polishing. It's going to absorb um, the stuff that's on there. And again, the same thing back here as well. Just light strokes quite quickly. And again, you can start and you can see it's having the effect of polishing the frets now to quite a high gloss and the strings as well. Okay, so we just keep doing that for a few seconds longer. Okay, so the next stage now is we're going to clean underneath the strings and we're going to polish the frets even more. To do that, we need this cloth. This is the one that comes supplied in the pack. Uh, it's a heavyweight cloth, it's cotton, it's one down from denim, so it's reusable. You can wash it, um, launder it, and use it again. For the purposes of this film, I'm going to use this white one because it'll demonstrate more accurately what comes out of the strings. So we take this cloth, place it underneath, nice light pressure, and just go up and down the string. And already we start and we see it's going to be taking some of the gunge out from underneath these strings. And you can see it's starting to have an effect already. OK, take a clean part of the cloth for each string, wrap it around. Particularly these wound strings, give these a, a good wipe two or three times. Again, you check, you can see what's coming off that one. Clean part of the cloth for the next string. Clean underneath. You can feel these starting to improve and feel silkier already. You can see what's coming off that. OK, well, if you look at those frets now, I mean, they really are starting to gleam and, and shine. Uh, I'd argue that perhaps these are better than when the guitar came out of the factory. They're a very high polish, and when we start to bend the strings, 
Uh, it's effortless. It does feel really good to play. Okay, we're very quickly, we've polished um, the fretboard and we've cleaned the strings on the top and underneath. We've got another option now if we want. We can take the Teflo wax bottle and the top uh, and what we can use this for is to lubricate the strings. We take the bottle, we shake the contents again, we just give one squirt on top of this felt pad here. One squirt there, we'll put the top back on the bottle and we can use that to just lightly lubricate these strings. And again, it's a preference, it's a personal choice. If you want to have your guitar so the strings are nice and uh, you can glide up and down them quickly, then you can use that up and down. Okay, if you've got a guitar with a tremolo unit, what you might want to do as well is to lubricate the nut, simply slacken the strings off, take the strings out of the nut slots, just a little spray on there and put the strings back in. And then that's going to help with tuning stability. We can also lubricate the bridge and the saddles down at this end. Simply slacken the strings off, take them out of the saddle mounts, lightly spray, put the strings back on and that's been lubricated as well. What we can also do is rehydrate the fretboard and wax polish it. This one's made of rosewood and it's not sealed, it's not lacquered. On maple necks it doesn't really apply because a maple fingerboard is, is usually um, lacquered so we wouldn't do it on that but certainly on these type of guitars we can do that. We take the Teflo wax, it's got a very light liquid wax in there, we're going to spray the uh, microfiber side of the pad and then just wipe up and down uh, and it goes like this. Okay well that's it, we've cleaned the guitar, we've cleaned the strings underneath and on top, we've polished the frets, we've rehydrated the fretboard and if we want to we can do the nut and the saddle but that's it done and also because it's now got a coating, a micro thin coating of PTFE it means that any further playing we just wipe with the cloth and the dirt's just going to fly off that and it really will play um, a lot better and it maintains your tone and it prolongs your string life. Okay well the pack contains a bottle of Teflo wax, it contains the applicator pad in there there's a manual and there's the cloth for usage for cleaning underneath the strings and polishing the frets. So there's only one thing to do now really, that's to plug this in uh, and we'll have a play. Thanks for watching. Thank you.